me again. Look how pretty. Isn't that nice? It's the Be My Valentine dishcloth. Lily Sugar and Cream Be My Valentine dishcloth. And um, it's a free pattern on the Yarnspirations website www.yarnspirations.com So far we've worked through the end of round six and we are ready for round seven now. And it says C, you see, C is red. So we're ready for red again. Let's see. Before we get started though we gotta hook it on at the end of round six. Join C with a slip stitch at the top of the chain three. I'm going to pull that through there and pull it through there. And I'll flip it over and we'll tie my ends together to make them secure so that I can not worry about it coming apart. I'll untie those later when I weave in my ends. You'll see me do that when we get to that point. All right. <clears throat> Round seven. With C chain three. They always tell us that. Every single gown. Two. Three. Then it says one double crochet, chain one, two double crochets, all in the same space as the last stitch. Last slip stitch. Okay. So I think I'm going to go down, instead of up here in the top, where it's real tight, I'm going to go in this big space here. It's just going to be easier for me. Down there, in that hole. I'm going to work in the hole. It doesn't say to do it, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because it's going to be really hard to do it in that spot right there. It's just too much. <sighs> One double crochet. chain one, two double crochets. Oh, okay, and now I know why they want you to do that, because that first one counted as a double crochet, so I'm going to have to work in that little tiny space whether I want to or not. Oh, it's going to be hard. So it's tight. Probably, it's probably tight because of that knot I just made, so let me loosen up that knot a little bit. That'll make things a little better. Yeah. Yeah. So now I need to double crochet right there. I'm just going to go through the one. I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to go through the one loop. And then a chain. And then two double crochets all in that same spot. So I'm kind of cheating this first one. Because that other spot I worked in was just too dang tight. So don't really use me as a good example here. Then chain two. One, two. Miss the next five double crochets. One, Here, okay, so I missed five. Then do two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, and the next double crochet. Two double crochets. I'm probably not going to be happy with that first one I worked. <laughs> oh well, life goes on. I'm just not going to be happy with it. I can work over it with, um, uh, some red yarn later. Chain two, da, 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 da. two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Okay. Two double crochets here. One, two. There. That looks a whole lot better than this one. <laughs> 
obviously, because I cheated it. Dang it. Uh, oh well, life goes on. One, two, miss the next five. One, two, three, four, five. And then here, I did two double crochets. One, two, chain one. So I want to look at my chart and see how these are supposed to be lining up just to make sure I'm doing these right. There we did the, the three chains and then we did all the other stuff all in the same spot and I kind of cheated that so I messed it up but that's not so bad. Then we did one, two, this doesn't make sense, oh that's right. We're, we're the dark, we're the dark print, we're not that light print, that light print's coming down from the next row. So we're working row seven in the dark print. So we did those four double crochets with a chain in the middle, and now we do two chains, and we skip all these, and we do two. So it looks like the spot where all of our um, double crochets are going in is one off to the left of the double two doubles that we worked before. So let me double check and make sure that's what I'm doing. That'll help me know if I'm in the right spot or not. So it's one spot off to the left of the two. Let's see here. There's the two I worked before, but this is right in it. So that's not looking good there. Where are the two double crochets? There's two there. Um, I don't even see two here. I might have messed up on that round. And then one, two, three, four. Two should have been there. Maybe that's why everything's looking kind of freaky here. Oh well. So from this point, I'm going to skip one, two, three, four, five. And then I'll do right there, off to the left of the two double crochets. So somehow I messed up that round back there. But it looks like I'm getting my count straightened out even with an error. So I'm going to live with it. So every time I pass the two double crochets that I worked before, I'm going to be working those little point things off to the left of those two double crochets. So from this point on, it should look better. So I did two chains. And I miss the next five. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm off to the left of the um, two double crochets that I worked right there. Off to the left here. So I do two double crochets. So I'm making it work even with an error. That's what we gotta do. That's what we do with our crafting selves. We make it work. And that is a design element, <laughs> as they say. It's my design, my personal design. So now I do chain two, and I skip over until I get to the left of those two double crochets. And right here, I'll do one. Two, do one chain, and then I do one, two again. And two. Maybe that error that I made back here was when I was talking about a diet. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> no diet talk. Not allowed. All right, so good there. Don't have to count it all now because we know where we're going. Use that chart. Use that chart. Use that chart. 
Unchain. I'm going to go ahead and work this whole round while you watch. One, two. I'm going to skip over here to the left of those two double crochets that I worked in the same spot. One, two, one chain. One. To see how this has this open space we're going to be filling that open space in after a while so don't worry about it trust the pattern <coughs> find those two double crochets and work and the double crochet right to the left of them And change one two. Then we do two chains. Let me skip over here. Ah, forget to wrap it. starting to hurt from reaching around the camera. Two, two chains. One. Two. Chain. Good. Not much left. Two chains. Go to the left of those two doubles. One. Two. Chain. That's the end. Now it says <coughs> ending with missing the last five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent! Then join with a slip stitch to the top of chain three and fasten off. Fasten it off. There. So that's the end of round seven. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? Looks like a carousel. Making you dizzy. Make you dizzy. <laughs> so now I'm ready for round eight. So I'll see you in the next video when we make round eight. See you later.